I noticed as I've been surfing the web, there's a lot of pages I just came across and discussions about immortality and would you be willing to live forever if you could. And somebody brought up the point, which was a really excellent point too. It is, it's all relative. I mean, if you could actually make it to where you wouldn't come down with any kind of disease or anything like that that would kill you off anymore. Your body would basically just stay healthy and regenerate itself and you would stay at a fairly young age because your body wouldn't actually age. Odds are still that by the by a, about 800 years old, an accident's going to take you out because, I mean, what are you going to do if your body gets uh, torn to bits? No matter how good a health you're in or how well you take care of yourself, you can't really survive that and then somebody else said well for sake of argument let's just say that somehow you could uh, magically take care of that in the problem and just nothing you were absolutely by I don't know how you do it you know maybe find a way to download your consciousness and everything into a machine or something just somehow make it to where no matter how much time goes on you are still going to exist well, in that case, that could actually probably be one of the worst things you could imagine. I mean, you'll live to see the sun expand and either engulf the earth or if the, like some people say, the earth may actually get pushed out a little bit and just kind of become a cinder. You're still going to be standing there on a cinder block with everybody else dead unless some other people are immortal with you. But if you're immortal yourself, then you're going to live to see the sun completely die. You're going to live to see millions and billions and billions of years. You're going to live to see the stars start going out to where the universe itself starts to become dark. And eventually you're going to live to see the universe spread out so far that matter itself is going to start to rip apart and even if you somehow could overcome that and still stay living and conscious oh, I'm going to go around this it looks like we got a lot of traffic here for some reason <laughs> backed up so yeah you'll actually somehow end up floating in real nothingness I mean nothingness as far as even space itself not existing because if uh normal baryonic style matter just rips itself apart too everything's just going to become a decreasing amount of spread thin energy to where if it gets spread out so far and so vast over such an area um, it would be hard to define that space itself was even existing anymore now that would be just if you were still conscious and in the middle of that that would be pretty horrible Because other than your conscious being aware, even time itself, other than just for your consciousness, I guess, there's nothing external to you changing, nothing happening. It's just darkness and nothing, nothing. So yeah, I bet you I really made your day, huh? <laughs> the bleakness and blackness of existing in nothing. But yeah, you don't tend to think about that. When we say immortal in human mind, we probably just mean we want to stay young for several hundred years or longer and still realize the fact that something eventually is going to take us out regardless of uh, we're just delaying the inevitable. Which in that case, compared to eternity... From a scientific now I'm not talking obviously there's other religious connotations if we want to get in then but I'm just talking pure uh, matter space time and science if we're talking religious or philosophical I have other viewpoints as to how things are going to sort themselves out about that <laughs>